do our posture check one last time. Lift all 10 toes up. And I want you to find the mound of your big toe. And then of course the mound of your pinky toe. Hey Debbie. And then the center of your heel. And then lengthen all 10 toes away and lower them to the ground. Opposite or one hand on the crown of your head. Bend those knees and lengthen up. And as you reach up into the crown of the head, feel the back of the neck get long. Feel your rib cage lift away from your pelvis. Maybe a little bit of tone in the center of your body as you breathe into your ribs. And exhale, release those arms down by your sides. Good. We're gonna take our hands to either sides of our temple. Squeeze those elbows back behind us. With those knees unlocked, push your pelvis back just a little bit and then bring it right back forward. So going right into a hip hinge, call it a good morning, call the variation of a golfer's reach. Whatever it is, you're folding at the pelvis. Those legs insert into the pelvis as a ball and socket, if you will. And you're just rotating the ball and socket joint, sending your sits bones directly behind you. For three, keep squeezing those elbows back, staying long in the spine. Two, good. And then last one, push the floor away, come on up. Take your hands to either sides of your pelvis, not your waist your pelvis. Those are two distinctly different things. Just bend those knees, keep your heels on the ground, and straighten up. Good. And just like this, we're going to bend and straighten. See how deep you can go, trying to get those knees pointing straight ahead, right over the toes. We'll go for five. Go as deep as you comfortably can. For three. With those heels staying down, with two, keep your elbows back, Gail, and one. Now, from here, slide your hands. Add pressure into your thighs, like that back catcher position. Stick your tush down, lengthen away from your pelvis, so the rib cage is still lifting. And now from here, put some weight into those thighs with your arms. Lengthen your spine and start to drive your knees as far over your toes as you can without feeling any pain in your knee joint. So you can see my knees are past my toes. And your heels are going to try and come off, but I don't want them to come off. Lift your chest up, Gail. Good. And then from here, shift the weight of your body back into your heels. Do you feel something change a little bit here? So as the knees shift forward over the toes, you feel more of the front of the thighs, the front of the top of the legs, maybe your knees. And as you shift the weight back into your heel, you feel a little bit more tushy. Good, and now hold this and then stand back up. Good, let's try that again. Take your hands to your thighs, fold at the ankle, knee and hip. Pressure into the thighs, push your hips back. Try to load a little bit more weight into the heels and a little bit lighter in through the toes. You don't have to go as deep as me, yeah? You can come up higher if you need to. Wherever you are, then stay there. We're gonna tap and center. Tap and center, then stand right back up. Good, hands on hips, bend, Shift back, tap right, center, tap left. Oh, things are starting to heat up. Stand up, keep going. Right, center, shoulders back, elbows squeeze back, Giselle. And stand, push the ground away with your big toe. Tap, center, tap, center, and stand. Nice job. We're going to shake up those legs a little bit, still in our warm up, but also starting to activate the muscles. Bend the knees, push the hips back, hands rest on thighs. Shift the weight back into those heels. It's almost going to feel like your toes are going to raise up, but we don't want them to. Good. Lift the chest, get a little taller, then shift the weight into one leg. 
tap the opposite leg back. If you need support, I have a wall here. Tap back, center, stand. Okay, so we bend like we're coming into a little squat. Feet are hip width apart, Churchill. Tap right, back, tap left. Back, see the space, stand, keep going. Bend, tap back, come to center. Tap back, come to center. Push the ground away one more time. Down, tap back, center, tap back, that's it. Center, stand up, nice job. Separate your feet, give those quads and glutes a little bit of a rest. Separate your feet outside of the hips. Push your hips side to side, hands are on your pelvis. Feel your pelvis make a circle. Lift up out of the waist, that's it, good. So we're now got it, right? We don't wanna lead with our head. We lead with the pelvis. In three, two, one. Change your circle direction. Make it as big as you comfortably can. Remember that breath. You breathe into the ribs, the front side and back. Everything's a okay. In three, two, one. If you need some support, go close to a wall or have your chair nearby. Remember, heels underneath your pelvis, shoulders on your back. Find that nice tall posture. Lift those heels and lower them. Good, that's it. We go up and down. So starting to prime now the muscles specifically in the lower half of the leg and the ankles. We go up and down. Try to look straight ahead. In five, four, nice job. Three, oh my gosh. Two, fantastic. And one, let's shake out your body now. Shake out those arms, shake out those legs. We got a pretty good job done on our lower half of our body. Let's focus a little bit, a minute or so on that upper body, and then we'll go right into today's cardio segment. It only has four exercises. We shall repeat them three times. First time around for 50 seconds. Second time around for 40 seconds. Third time around for 30 seconds. So 50, 40, 30 split. Minimal break, unless you need more. Change directions for me. Notice what's moving. Arm bone in socket, not the spine. Take those arms in front of you. Reach your left fingertips forward as you open your right arm out to the side. Do not twist open and center. And open and center, nice job, one more time. Open, center, last time. Open, center, fantastic. Please grab a quick sip of water. And remember, I am making the most difficult part of this cardio the first round because we are going 50 solid seconds with just a 10 second break. If you feel you need a longer break, please take it. The goal is to get a little breathy. In other words, we string three or four words together before we have to go and take a breath again, yes? So that's our goal. We don't wanna get up to our highest heart rate and maintain it throughout the whole class. We wanna feel a level five, six, seven on a scale of zero to 10, all right? Who's ready to go? Have a towel handy, might need it to wipe a brow. Let's get going. We're gonna start on one edge, go to the right, uh, the left side of your mat for me. I have to remember I'm mirroring you all the time. <laughs> you think I would know this now? It's been three years I've been teaching online only. So from this side of your mat, we already know how to bend at our ankles, knees, and hips, right? Take your hands to your pelvis. I'm gonna show from the side. Squeeze the elbow back and get tall. Now, sit your hips back. So it's, it's kind of a squat, but not your deepest squat, right? From here, we're gonna push one, two, touch the sky. Fold, one, two, touch the sky. And that's the movement, and I'm gonna add on as we go. You ready, Debbie? Three, two, one, let's go around, Maureen. Step together, step, touch the sky. Keep your feet on the ground for now. Just get tall. Again, you do not have to bend those knees 
quite as much as me. You can make it much smaller. For those who have the energy, a hop is optional. Additional, a heel pop to get closer to the ceiling. Some of you in a low risk category may even choose to get some air. Yes, you're 30 seconds into it. That's it, that's it, Nora, good. One or both arms, the choice is yours. If overhead doesn't work, how about in front of your chest? Yeah, that's a nice variation. Good. In five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in, we're going right into the next round. Next exercise, we bend those knees, squeeze those elbows back, we go something like this. Tap, tap, up, tap, tap, up. You got it? Tap, tap, we're in it, up. Let's go, Marsha. Tap, up. If you wanna catch some air and jump, don't let me stop you, yes? Just know your fracture risk. If you're in lower medium or not even in a risk category, then feel free to catch some air. We're up for speed, but meet me where you are today and I'll be happy, right? At the highest level that you can possibly manage based on where you are today. That's all I ask for, okay? Five, four, three, that's it, Gail. Two, whoo, and one. Oh my gosh, those arms kept me every time. Legs are gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna give those knees a little bit of a break. In three, two, one, take your fingertips together, hold your fingertips, up, up. So as one leg steps out, it's a fun variation of a step jack. Shoulders on your back, shoulders front of the chest and hips facing forward. Do your best not to move your head in space, all right? You're looking straight ahead for me, Mo. That's it, that's it, let's go. 50 seconds, that's all I'm asking. I don't think that's a lot, is it? <laughs> I she can't catch a breath here. <laughs> that's okay, 10 more seconds, come on. Nice job, Maureen. Come on, Kathy. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, again. If you need a sip of water, you're welcome to take it. The breaks get longer, the work gets less. Moving forward, tap back, tap right. Tap back, tap back. Here we go, we push. There we go. Go to the beat of the music. That's my jam. Have a little fun, get a little bounce. A knee bend. That's it, that's it, come on. Whoo! Come on, is that core hugging your spine? Keep that dignity throughout this movement. Ooh, Janet, you want to turn up the volume? Up, 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 that's it. Options, they're always there. You can even take the arms out of it and just move the legs. Squeeze the touch as the leg taps back. Come on, Tracy. Woo! In three, in two, and one. Time, quick sip of water. Right from the top, 40 seconds on, 20 second break, you're welcome. All right, so the hardest part is done, are you ready? Lateral step, reach to reach, over to your left, ready? In three, two, one, we step together, step, touch the apples, picking the apples from the tree, too early for that season. Ooh, too early for any season. <laughs> Come on, springs in the air. I know what's coming. What's the first thing, team? Asparagus or strawberries in Ontario? I never remember. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Come on. Give me everything you got here. It's only 40 seconds. Keep those elbows squeezing back in three, two, one. High five, please, and thank you. Um, oh, um, 20 seconds? My gosh, what can a woman do in, in 20 seconds? Lots and lots and lots, right? <laughs> a human, I shouldn't have said that. Again, we're going knee bend, tap, tap, up. Yes, boom, boom, 
Up, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. We go tap, knee bend, and up from the side. I'll show you in a sec. Up, up, up. Heel pop is optional. Some of you might even be jumping, right? What do I know? Maybe you're working out on hot coals, right? And you gotta catch that air, MJ. <laughs> out, out, reach. Stroller looks about nice, right about now, MJ. <laughs> um, that cute little puppy of yours. Up, oh, come on, 40 seconds. That's all I ask, Heather, come on. Woo! A celebration, that's what this is all about, this class. Up, uh, Karen R, looking good today. Dedicated two days in a row, I've seen you now. Woo, come on, three, two, one, time. I think I made you go too long on that. Sorry, not sorry. Next move, step jacks. Option for the arms. I like to hold on to two fingers with my left hand. I reach up and down. In three and two and one. Let's go. Come on, Alice. Chest is proud. Core is turned on. Soft elbows. Yeah, Nicole. Woo! Whoop, there it is. That's what the song says. <laughs> no karaoke, karaoke. You don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> 40 seconds. Where are we? We're halfway through. Come on, come on. Let's go, Churchill. Woo! We got Churchill. We got Kathy, Alberta, somewhere. We got BC and Ontario. Got a couple missing provinces there. A few, I would guess, right? For, for some reason, we don't go past Ontario. Jess Brown, three two, one, that's it, time, big breath, three, two, one, ready, tap, 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 let's go, come on, join me when you're ready, oh, chest proud, chest proud, you're getting like a double row here, it's not just the arms moving, think of the chest expanding, and those back muscles, yes? That's it, Kathy. Kathy likes the turned up volume. I love it. Come on, Tina, get those arms up. Overhead this time, come on, come on, yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds, come on. Woo! Five, four, come on, Marion. Three, two, one, time, grab some water. Big breath in. We doing okay, thumbs up. I did my workout this morning, my glasses were steaming. That's my wish for you. Steamy glasses, Jenny D. <laughs> I had to stop my workout because I couldn't see anymore. Lateral steps with a reach. If you haven't been offering a heel pop to your body, right? Feel free to add that at the end of the movement. 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so easy. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, push, reach. Maybe a hop. Maybe just a step side to side. Meet me where you are. Just do not give up on yourself. Yes? That is not an option. Nope. Giselle, your computer is like having your own personal cameraman. I love it so much. <laughs> Five, four, Three, two, one, those new iPads where the camera follows you. It's so awesome, I love it. So knee bend with a tap side to side, but you got like, oh my gosh, let's knit a poncho. Crochet a poncho, that's what my mom used to do. Like I turn around and I have a new poncho. Big breath in team, relax. Isn't 30 seconds easy? Another breath in. And exhale. Are you ready? Bend those knees, sit your hips back. We're gonna tap, tap, yes? Sorry, tap, tap, up, tap, tap. I almost forgot the move. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> and I have a whiteboard. Imagine if I uh, actually read it. <laughs> yeah, that's it, MJ. MJ's catching air. I love it. Pushing yourself, because she's like, I need to get stronger. I need to tell those bones 
They got to get stronger. Come on, Diane. Whoo, 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I think I made this workout too easy for you. <laughs> Take a big breath in, team. There's a method to this type of training, this type of interval training. Trust me, it's effective, it's short and quick. Big breath in through the nose. We got step jacks with option to reach those arms up and down. Arm is a lever. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go, Alice. Come on. Let's finish strong. Come on, Marsha. Woo! Yes. Nice full breath. Eyes on the horizon, Gail. Look straight ahead. Neck is long on all four sides. Woo! Got to dust off that bike, Jenny. I can feel spring in the air. March is coming. <laughs> Three, two, one. Last move is our tap backs. Tap one leg and the other. Remember, when you reach your leg behind you, that's hip extension, and that comes by squeezing the butt. Yeah, so you're not just tapping a random leg back. You know, you can do that, but why not be effective? As you squeeze your tush, you push your hip forward, yes? Imagine your hand is here, give it a try. In three, two, one, come on, squeeze. Tell that muscle it needs to get strong. <laughs> That's half the battle. You gotta self-talk all the positives, especially when you're struggling, because your body's gonna talk crap to you, no offense, but it does that. Yeah, you gotta tell it. Not today. Not now. Mm. Come on. Woo! We got a fun little balance segment coming up. In four, three, two, one. Let's just march it out. Good old fashioned marches. Those of you who are like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do moving forward. Find a way to march on the spot. Take it forward and back, side to side, add the arms. Now, just try to elevate that heart every day for 30 minutes and 10 minute walks. And your heart, which is the engine of your body, will be so happy. Chest proud. Tap left to right. Good, hands on pelvis. Get those arms quiet. Trying to get that heart rate down now. Breathe into your belly. Shake up those arms. Let's do a little heel tap. Really big breath in. So as you know, when it comes to our balance training, I like to turn the music off. Balance is hard enough as it is. Although every move we do, there's an element of balance as you know. Here we go, three, two, one time. Grab a quick sip of water, team. You're not gonna need anything other than a chair for the next uh, three to four minutes. And then we go into our strength. I know it's your favorite part. It's mine too. And I know here's a question I often get asked. I don't have the time to do all the things. What do I do? The cardio? Do I do the balance? Do I not like ideally in an ideal world we do it all. But you can separate with at this stage in our lives team, prioritizing your strength training practice. Please, 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 because when the new guidelines come out from Osteoporosis Canada, which could be now or in a little bit, they are going to really, really start focusing on that strength training aspect. Like big, big studies have come about in the last decade that are going to ramp up that. So progressively overload, you are stronger than two pounds. In fact, I'm going to dare to say most of you are stronger than a set of five pound plates. Okay, I know how big your casseroles are, casserole dishes are. I just bought a new one, so don't even get me started with two pounds. That's just not a thing. You know, there are exceptions to the rule, health issues that I'm unaware of, or health issues that are new to you uh, or acute. You know, you have to be careful of that. But I would be, beg to say that almost every single person in here should be starting moving forward with less than five pounds. We can chat later if you want. So from here, you're going to stand with your feet hip width apart. And we're going to go back to our knee bends, right? So you're welcome to use a chair. We're just going to bend and straighten the knees. 
And again, it's a natural thing for your knees to go over your toes. So if you ever hear, don't let your knee go over your toes. You know, I always say it depends on what the movement is, of course. It depends on who you are. But if you're gonna climb stairs today, I guarantee you those knees are gonna go over your toes. So we might as well get strong in that range of motion. That said, when we squat, we want to try and bring our hips back so that we do not load the knees. And squatting is something you do on a daily basis because you get up and down from chairs, yes? So let's find your knee bend wherever it is, and that's what we're calling it today. You're lifting up out of the waistline, and let's do that same thing we did in our warm up. You're going to shift your weight forward so your knees go right over the tippy tippy part of your toes, and then just shift your weight back, 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 back. And maybe what you've noticed is now my shins are vertical to the wall in front of me, right? My knees are over my ankles. My bum has to turn on. I want you to push the weight of the body into your heels. If you need to take a break, take a break. From here, you're going to get really light on that right foot. So maybe the heel comes off. So from here, you can't see maybe that angle, but I'm wearing a high heel on just my right foot. I'm continuing to push the weight of my body back into my left heel. And this can be where you start, or maybe you tap your toes forward. You're still in your squat or knee bend. Yeah, your weight is back. You bring your foot back, you put your foot on the ground, and you stand up. That's a lot. <laughs> you can feel those muscles kick in, right? So again, bend the knees, lift up out of the waistline, shoulders back, pop your left heel up off the ground. I'm fine with you using support, by the way. But what I want you to really focus on is pushing the weight back. If we balance on that one leg with the knee forward and the toes here, that's a lot of load on that knee joint. So get the butt. It's a much bigger, stronger muscle involved, lift up those toes, and maybe straighten your left knee, point your toes forward. Yep, shoulders back, Giselle, chest up. Shoulders back, chest up, Giselle. Yeah, so we wanna make sure as we do this, when we come into this position, the shoulders don't do something like this. So I would rather you come up a little bit higher. See how small that knee bend is? I can do the exact same exercise. Let's do it again, stand tall, chair or no chair, chest proud, squeeze the shoulders back for me. Yeah, now bend your knees. Mm -hmm. Shift the weight into your right foot. Straighten your left foot, toes on the ground. If that's too much, just come into that heel rise. Good, some of you are like, yeah, it's hard, but I can do more than this. Maybe you can lift your foot off the ground. Ooh, you're gonna feel things start to shake and shiver. It's like Elvis Presley just entered the building. Lower the toes, slide the foot back, press the ground away and stand up. Oh my gosh, I think we're doing our strength segment already. Oh, okay. Here we go, bend the knees, other side. Shift the weight into your left foot, Jenny. Left heel is anchored, left big toe is anchored. Lift the right heel. You can stay here. You can slide your right toes forward so that right knee is bent. You're still lifting out of the waistline, Gail. Yeah, and then maybe for those who are like, easy peasy, I'm gonna lift my foot. Hello, hip flexors, that's for you, Jenny. Three, <laughs> two, she's like, I wish I never told her. And one, lower your foot, slide it back, stand up. So that's a really good one to practice. If you have questions about that, stick around after class. But we've got other work to do. There's fun ways to challenge your balance. And uh, I don't know how fun that was, but it was a lot of work. <laughs> so we're going into our traditional exercises, which I'm gonna show all of them to you first. So please don't do, just watch. That kickstand deadlift, yes? Right foot forward, left foot back. Normally we do it with one weight, but you guys have been around for a while now, right? So when I hold two weights in my hand, my arms are relaxed, yes? And my shoulders are gently hugging back, okay? That's what I'm gonna start with. Right foot forward, kickstand. So your foot might be in line
line with your standing foot heel. Do you see I just kind of slid it back? If you wanted to, you can bring it even further back, but not necessary. And you're literally gonna slide the weights down towards your knees, palms facing your body. Push into that standing leg and come on up. So remember all that work I just did, shifting the body weight back. I wanna show this exercise to you without the weight. Weight is strong in my heel. I'm gonna hinge. Weight is in my heel, really strong, but that big toe is still connected. Push and come up. So your shin wants to stay vertical. You don't wanna drive it forward. I'm gonna do right side, I'm gonna do left side. Exercise number three is arms at the wall at shoulder height. Slightly dial your hands up so you're in a wall plank. Without your shoulders, Doing this, we're gonna open up into a fly. So right arm and at the wall, left arm. You can make it more accessible by coming closer to the wall so that there's just a light pressure closing that kinetic chain, trying not to twist or shift. And then the final exercise, I know you guys know this exercise. It's a suitcase carry squat and a half. So go down into your deepest squat, Come up halfway, go back down and up. So it's a one and a half squat. It's like um, musical chairs and someone's slooped the chair away from you. Shoulders on your back, chest proud. We go down, up halfway, down and up. Does it need to be as deep as me? No, but I want you to think about weight in your heels, pushing your feet into the ground to stand up any questions. We're good? Let's pate. Let's give some information to our body, Nora and Nancy. Let's do it. I'm gonna put some music on. So we're gonna do our Romanian deadlift with a kickstand for 40 seconds. So let's all set up together because that's what teams do. They don't leave people behind. You're gonna grab two weights, palms facing your body, right foot forward, left toes on the ground behind your uh, right foot. So heel to toe. Push the hips back and drive to come up. Neck is part of your spine. Have a look down at that right knee. Make sure it doesn't buckle forward or inwards. It stays stationary. You're moving your bum back. That's it, Marion. And pushing into the floor to come up right. Let's go, let's go, come on. 15 more seconds. Yep, side view is my favorite view. Watch those knees colliding in, team. I see some people's knees buckling. Imagine a resistance band on your outer thighs. Yes, Diane. Very good, Chris. Squeeze the shoulders on your back, Debbie. Yes, yes, yes. We're not squatting, are we, Karen? <laughs> You're doing like a bit of a squat. That's okay, three, two, one. So I'm seeing a little this. You're not the only person. That knee is going forward. Don't let that knee go forward. Another cue, if you're that person, you can use that chair. Take your left knee to the chair, find your kickstand with your right toes, and push your hips back. Ah, we've done this before. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Same thing with your arms. They're dead. Shoulder blades pinching your spine. Let's see it, Dina. Yep, there you go. Bring your bum back, not your knee down, Karen. So you're in a lunge position. I don't want to lunge, I just want to kickstand. Back and up. Use your exhalation team to push up and come into that upright position. Really grip those weights like you love them dearly. That's it, Marian. You're picking up your dishes from a dishwasher. Push your tush back towards whatever's behind you. Yes, Karen, fantabulous. In three, two, one, that's time. Put those weights down. You are the weight. Channel the weight in your body. Be grateful for it. Shoulders over hips, over knees and ankles is more accessible. If you're walking your feet back, you want to create that tension in through those abdominals and seat. When you are ready, wrists at shoulder height, 
You're going to open your arm to the side and put it back on the wall. Other side to the wall. Let's go. One arm at a time. As you fly open, push aggressively with the hand that's at the wall. Be careful, Kathy E. <laughs> that looks very volatile there, what you're leaning against. So just be mindful, team. Push. Yes, Nicole. Take your time. You want to be slow about this. Resisting any twisting. Try not to bend your elbows, Marsha. We're just holding a straight arm plank. Mm-hmm. Ten more seconds, MJ. Using her breath like a champ. Five. Four. Fantastic, Patricia. Three, two, one. Nice job, team. Come on out of that. The last and final exercise, Sandy, Alice, and Andre. Andrea, you're here. You're here. I see you. So one and a half squat. And I'll show it with a chair. Maybe better feedback. It's like I'm coming down all the way to the chair. Then I come up a little bit. I go down to the chair and come on up. So if you want to use a chair as feedback, you're welcome to. I just don't really want you sitting in it. So it's just a tap, up a little, a tap, and all the way up. So one and a half squats. When you're ready, you're in it, Giselle. Chest up. Let's see that gorgeous smile, Chris. Sit down, come up halfway, go all the way down. Or 50%. So one and a half. Yes, Giselle. Nice, Karen. Down, up, down, up. You got it. Nice tempo. Chest up, chest up. Arms are quiet. Shoulders are squeezing back. Three. Slow down, Gail. Two. And one. Take a break, team. Put those weights down. Grab that sip of water. I need more water. Bubble water. Trust me, that's all I'm drinking. <laughs> Buble, anybody? <laughs> all right. I'm obsessed with this stuff. All right, team. How are we feeling? Shake out those arms. Shake out those legs. Remember, what is holding the weight in your hands is these muscles here, just from this side. We don't want to bring them up here. Instead, we gently bring them back. This is what it looks like from here. We gently bring them back. Yes, we gently bring them back. And we keep them there, right? Because without that, we're going to end up flexing and rounding and loading the anterior front part of our spinal column. How many people think that's good? this point you nobody <laughs> all right team enough babbling I want everybody to use some close that kinetic chain with a chair let's put our right knee on the chair and our left toes are just a couple of inches away from our right heel parallel in the track we're all gonna do this setup together then hinge pick up those weights squeeze the shoulders Giselle let's go push the hips back Push the floor away and stand. So we down and up. Just to the knees is fine today, right? You know, if I was doing a one-on-one -on -one or something and I could see you like full body, toe to heel, and I've been working with you for weeks, maybe I'd say bring them lower. Karen R, that is perfection. Always use that chair. The end. Closing that chapter. You got it, Chris. Good. Beautiful. So you hinge forward. You do not round those shoulders. You keep those shoulders back, Alice. Yes. 10 more seconds, Maureen. Gorgeous, Giselle. Five, four, neck is long. Three, two, one. Put the weight on the seat of the chair. Walk over to the other side and put your left knee on it. Bring your right toes as a kickstand. Stand tall. Primary mover is your pelvis, not your knees. Grab those weights. Ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Marion. Push. As you exhale, we tighten those tummy muscles. We 
tighten those glute muscles. Grab those weights like you mean business. You are the boss right now. Do not let those weights, let you fling your weights around here. So hold them really tight. Chest is proud, nice crisp, beautiful spine. Hinge forward, Miriam. We're not squatting or lunging. Folding at the crease of the hip. Five. Push the floor away. Three, two, one. All right, yes. Don't let those shoulders be the boss of you. Mm -mm. Tell them who's in charge. Wall, open flies. Find your wall, open. I'm just gonna dance while you guys get set up. <laughs> Are you laughing at me or with me, Patricia? <laughs> <laughs> Hands at shoulder height. Dial your fingers out just ever so slightly. Lock those elbows. You know who I'm talking to. Anyone in my yoga class knows what I'm talking about here. We're gonna fly open right. Take hand to the wall. Fly open left. And on repeat. Core is tight. We're resisting turning our torso. Our chest continues to face that wall no matter. That's it. Lock out those elbows, Nicole. You can engage all the muscles of your arm if you're actively pushing into the wall. That's it, Diane. Good. Resist the sway of those shoulders by pushing harder and slowing it down. You know who you are. <laughs> it's like I say it to one person, 10 people do it. I love it. Three, two, one. That's time. One and a half squats. I had this whole other thing set up for you. There was like combo movements and I was like, I'm getting confused. Simple is like the bomb. Just get really good at simple and that's all you need to do. I, that's the end of my story. You will become a master strength lifter, weight lifter, whatever, if you just become perfect at these basic movements. That's all you need, team. Hold on to those weights. Squeeze those shoulders back like there's a poker down your spine and you're just hugging it with those shoulder blades. We go down, we come up a little, we go down and up. Let's go, you're in it. One and a half squat. Again, if one and a half triggers any knee issues and you're not like getting it, just squat up and down. I'll be happy with that too. Yes. Drop those ribs. Try not to let them jump forward. <laughs> I love you so good. <laughs> That's it, team. Yes. How low can you go? Not so fast, Giselle. Slow it down. Maybe she wants to get those steamy glasses today. Hey, Giselle. Three, two, one. That's time. She's aiming for steam. Come on out. We have one more round to go. So put those down, shake the things out, grab the beverage, hydration station, swing the arms. That's it, Maureen. Big breath in, four more moves. Come on, who doesn't have time to program four moves three times into their day? You all do. You all do. I'm making burgers tonight. <laughs> so while they're cooking in the oven, guess what I'll be doing? <laughs> all right, you just gotta slip it in where you can. I get it, we all have busy lives. I get ya. But you deserve more than excuses. Are you ready? Weights, here we go. Are they heavy enough? Question, are they heavy enough? If you have to think about it, they're not. It's the truth, I know, I'm the truth girl. Nobody likes that. You want me to sugarcoat it? Keep using your bottles of water and you'll never fracture. There's my sugar coat. If you believe that, I have swamp land in Florida to sell you. Take those weights, here we go. Shoulders back, right knee to the chair, left toes are your kickstand. Push your bum back, press into the ground and stand up. That's all you're doing. You're unloading your dishwasher, but you're adding load so it becomes easy in your life. When you bend over, pick up the puppy, Pick up the groceries, pick up the canoe, the kayak, the skis. Life is right here, team. That's all we're doing. We're strengthening life. 10 more seconds. Let's go, Giselle. 
Uh-huh. Use those joints in three, two, that's it, Debbie, and one. Put them down, take a break. Yep. So I'm a big fan of feedback, and that's what the chair does, right? Otherwise, these are the kinds of things I say when I say hinge. I'm seeing this, right? I'm seeing this. None of those are pelvic dominant movements. They're variations of a split lunge or a squat, yes? So instead, we're pushing our hips behind us, closing the car door, right? Osteoporosis Canada uses that example all the time, and we're coming right back up by pushing into the ground. Other side, let's go, enough chatting. Left knee to the chair, right toes slightly behind the heel, but still in a train track position. Three, two, one, let's do it, Nancy. We're going down, we're pressing up. Make sure that right knee doesn't collapse and touch the left thigh. So keep pushing it outwards as if you had a resistance band above your knees. Yeah, and I've done that in some of my classes, not this one, that's it. Stick your tushy out, Heather. Proud, let's see that tush. <laughs> that's it, Maureen, nice job. Chest proud, squeeze those muscles on your back. So we want strong back muscles for a multitude of reasons. Something we never talk about, because we always talk about bones in this class, but think of your breathing mechanics when your shoulders are back and your chest is nice and broad. So many reasons to get strong, team. In three, in two, and one. Put those down. Grab a sip of water. I'm really working you today. <laughs> All right, take a big breath in. Take your hands to your rib cage. And I want you to feel your ribs expand into your hands. So take a big breath into your hands, but try not to keep this up around your ears. So breathe left to right. And exhale. So that's what you do when your coffee's brewing. Big breath in. You got it, Patricia, and exhale it out. Yeah, that's the kind of breathing I like to see. We're telling our body everything is okay, despite what Diana's making us do today. All right, let's find that wall plank. Whether your feet are under your shoulders or you're walking your feet back, tush is on, belly is on. It's like everything's hugging your body. Ready? Open right, center, left, center. It doesn't have to go behind your body. Just your open fly, right? If you were lying on the ground, you'd just take your arms to the floor, not behind you, just out to the side, yeah? Good. Let your palm face the wall, Diane, instead of behind you. So keep that external rotation instead of internal. So pop, yes, thank you. She's such a stickler for details. Squeeze that touch, Karen. That's it, Patricia. Come on, Debbie. Three, two, one. Nice job, Sandy. Last and final strength move, and then we get to stretch it out. Um, um, um. My favorite part. <laughs> Last time, one and a half squats, or if that's not working for you, you can just do sit down, sit, and stand. Otherwise, you're all the way down, halfway up, all the way down and back up again. That's a brutal one. I know the front of your thighs are screaming. But guess what? Those muscles support your knee joints. So you're in it. Let's go. No lollygagging. Let's go. <laughs> down and up. Come on, Nora. You should be smiling, everybody. This is your last strength exercise of the day. Holler, holler. Let's go. Come on, Giselle. Sit down in that chair. Yes, much better. Some of you are going crazy fast. You know what's harder? Crazy slow. <laughs> so take your time. You have 10 more seconds of this delicious movement that you do on a daily basis. Push the earth away to stand. Five, four, three, two, one, yo, put it down, give me a high five. My girlfriend and I went out and spent the day together and I've been going, yo, like you're not gonna believe me. She's like, are you 12? 
like, what is coming into you? I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know where this language is coming from. I don't know. Okay, grab that sip of water, team. We're going to stretch our magnificent body out. Give yourself a pat on the back. Ah, she's cheeky. <laughs> take a big breath in. Again, take your hands to your rib cage, left and right, east to west. If that hurts your shoulders, just like give yourself a hug. Yeah? Like you're in happy days. Take a big breath into your fingers. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Good. Two more breaths. Big breath in. And out. Stay nice and tall. Big breath in. Let's go one more time. That feels really good here, team. Big breath into your fingers. Good. Release your arms. Step your feet so they're underneath your hips. Right foot forward, left foot back. Bend your front knee and straighten your back leg. And take those arms out in front of you. Good. Turn your palms up into the sky. Good. And then just open those arms wide behind you. Squeeze the shoulders on your back. Good, maybe gaze up. Lower the hands so they're below your shoulders. Reach through the fingertips. Drive that back right heel down into the ground. Good, step forward with your right foot and switch sides. So left foot back, right foot forward. You're in a, like a lunge position. Good, take your arms out in front of you. Yeah, Giselle's already in it. Turn your palms open. Good, and reach back. Good, lower your hands considerably lower, down into the corners of the room. Lift the breastbone, get a little bit of spinal extension, which is the opposite of flexion. So we're opening the facets, the front of the spinal column here, creating space, lifting out of the pelvis, lifting out of this waistline for three, two, one, step your feet together, take your hands to your shoulders, draw big circles with your elbows as big as you can manage in a pain-free range of motion. Again, shoulders, hips facing forward in your movement practice. And so if you go elsewhere, which my hope is, take your hands to your shoulders, Gail, if you find another class and you're unsure, if you just place in your mind's eye with every exercise, are my shoulders and hips facing the same direction? And if the answer is no, and you're living with low bone density, change directions if you haven't, then please disregard the exercise. You're not there to prove anything to anybody, least of all a teacher who doesn't know you. Open and close, yes? Keep an eye on my YouTube channel team. My goal is with the extra couple of hours I have in my week, to post more regularly on my YouTube channel. You may find an osteophic class coming up soon, although I feel like I need to change the name, but it's okay, it'll still be a movement class. Three, two, and one. Shake out those arms. Let's go into the legs. I'm gonna use my chair for support. You're welcome to do the same. Step behind the back of your chair. Step your left leg back and bend your right knee. Just get into the calf of that back leg. Chest is nice and proud. Take a couple of deep inhales through your nose and exhale through a open mouth. Good. A couple more breaths here. You can move your head around. You can roll your shoulders. and take that same back leg and just put the toenail side of that foot on the ground. Again, hip extension means you're squeezing your tush and getting the wrinkles out of the front of your pants. Lift out of the waist. You might feel that up the front line of that extended back leg. Breathe here. Take another breath. 
Step your feet together, simply switch sides. Take your right foot behind your left, staying in that chalk. Right heel to the ground, front knee bends, and lengthen right out of the waistline. If you're not sure in your movement practice, I always recommend finding yourself in front of a reflection, in a mirror, and have a look at the exercises, right? How is your body moving? Are you maintaining that neutral spine throughout your exercise practice? In three, two, one. Your mirror's not gonna lie. <laughs> Curl your toes in the opposite direction. So put your toenails on the ground. Press as much as you would like. Some of us are very sensitive in this stretch, especially in the foot. So if it feels too much, lay off of that pressure. Stay tall, find that dignity in your spine. In three, two, one. Here we go. I want you to separate your feet nice and wide. Bend into your left knee. Keep your chest up. Extended leg is straight. Chest is proud. Please stay in touch, team. Just because I'm not teaching it right now into the summer, this class does not mean things won't change in the fall. So if we keep in touch, if things change, there is an uh, opportunity for us to connect and keep moving together. If you wanna be put on a wait list for any of my 10 week series programs, the program we're in now doesn't end until May. Um, we have three classes, Bone Fitness Yoga for Bones, let's go to the other side, and Stronger Bones Camp. All of them are unique in their own way and they are not osteofit. Okay, so this is a very specific class for a large community. One more breath, and then we're gonna come to stand and we're gonna shake things out. If you wish to join me for a moment of mindfulness, again, my company is called Mindful Movement RX, so I feel like no matter what it is that I teach, we need to have this moment to connect with our body, down-regulate our nervous system, find the support of a chair if you wanna lie on the ground, However you can maintain a length in your spine, be warm and supportive. Maybe hands in your laps. And then get really proud and tall in your spine. Draw the shoulders back so your collarbones stay a little open and softly gaze down, cast or close your eyes. Just doing a little scan in your body Remember the sensations that you feel in your body don't always come from the place that we feel the sensation. So pain or tension or discomfort. In fact, not to negate anybody's pain, but the science has proven it over and over again that these discomfort feelings whether they be pain or other, are truly just located in our brain. We can all have the same issue with our tissues, and some of us will feel the pain and others will not. So this is a pain response. So I know all of us have lived with it and maybe some of us are living with it. So I want you to take heed of that and know that there is a certain level of power that you have, just like over your movement practice, whether you move or don't. There is a power that you have over your body that you do not even know is there. The trick is to learn how to harness it. It's a whole other subject for another day. you're curious, reach out and I can point you in some directions. But for now, I want you to take a, your breath to any area of your body that is calling your attention for any reason. It could be your belly, could be a part of your body that feels uncomfortable, your thighs, your knees, a leg, an arm, a wrist, a finger, a heart, a belly. 
And as if we could take our breath directly to this area, I want you to see if you can infuse this next inhalation deeply and fully into this area. And notice any resistance to opening or making space. Any sensations of guarding or fear. And these are all good things to observe. They're not to be judged or changed necessarily. They are just things to note. As you continue to focus your breath there for the next moment or so, time you have taken to explore your body inside and out in our time together should make us all smile. So let's just take one more collective deep inhale as those arms raise overhead and you stretch from end to end, reach up to the sky, bringing those arms back into you and give yourself a well-deserved hug. It has been an absolute honor team. I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Please stay in touch. Big kiss, big hug. Please stick around if you have any questions after class team comments or you want to make note of anything on our chat.